This week I'll show you my favorite Lightroom keyboard shortcuts. Adorama TV presents Exploring Photography with Mark Wallace, where you will learn innovative techniques on shooting a wide range of photography. Here's your host, Mark Wallace. This episode is brought to you by Adorama. Have you heard? Adorama is more than a camera store. Get more info at Adorama.com. Hi everybody, welcome to another episode of Exploring Photography right here on Adorama TV. Today we're going to be talking about Lightroom, specifically keyboard shortcuts. And I have a few keyboard shortcuts that I really love to use. And what happens is I teach Lightroom in a lot of photo classes. And when I'm in Lightroom, I'm just zipping around really fast, doing different things, zooming in, zooming out, rating things, coming back, zipping over to the develop module, going back, turning things on and off. And people are always asking me, what the heck are you doing? Well, I'm using some of my favorite keyboard shortcuts to really move rapidly through the workflow of the Lightroom post-production process. And so that's what I'm going to show you today. We are going to move really quickly, but the nice thing is I've got this little thing that's going to show you on the bottom of Lightroom every single key press that I make. And so that way you won't miss a single thing. And plus, I'm going to show you a cheat sheet that you can use at home so you know what every single keyboard shortcut is for Lightroom. Now the nice thing is Lightroom 5 is about to come out, so these keyboard shortcuts that I'm going to show you today for Lightroom 4 will work for Lightroom 5, and a lot of them will work for Lightroom 3 as well. So if you're hesitant about getting into Lightroom, there is no excuse. Dive right in because it will save you a ton of time. So let's look really closely at my favorite keyboard shortcuts. Well, I'm in Lightroom, and I'll show you how I sort of go through and some of my favorite shortcuts. Now, usually when I'm doing this in a classroom environment, a lot of my students will ask me uh, what the actual shortcut keys are that I'm pressing because I tend to go really, really fast. Well, the good news is you don't have to write any of these shortcut keys down because the cheat sheet is built into Lightroom. All you have to do is go up to Help, and at the very, almost to the very bottom, there's this little thing that says Library Module Shortcuts. Now this will show you all the keyboard shortcuts for the library module. If you're in the develop or map or book or slideshow or print or web module, it will show you those. So if I click on that, voila, here are all of the different keyboard shortcuts that you'll use for that module. And to get rid of that, you just click on it and it goes away. Now you don't have to actually go to help and use that menu. So what I'll do is I'm going to turn on a little thing that shows you all my keyboard uh, presses that I'm using. So if you hit the command and forward slash key, you'll see all the library shortcuts show up. Now, if you're using a PC, it would be control forward slash, uh, but that would show up on your PC. Instead of command, it would say control. So there you have it. Uh, again, to make that go away, we just click on it. If I go into the develop module and I hit those same shortcut keys, then you'll see there's all the develop shortcut keys that show up. And the same is true for all of the different modules. And so that is, if you don't learn anything else today but that, I think that will help you out because you can look at those Play with all those shortcut keys and save yourself a ton of time. Well, let's talk about how to get between the library and develop module. You probably found that you jump between those two things a lot, and you don't have to click on the develop module and then click back on the library module to get between those. Very, very quickly, if you want to go to the develop module, just hit the D key, and that will take you over to the develop module. And if you want to get back to the library module to see the grid, hit the G key, and that will take you back to the grid. And you'll also see that you can jump to specific things in the develop module. So take a look at this. If we look at view, notice that we have go to develop. That's the D key. Uh, if you want to go to the crop tool, the R key. Spot removal tool, Q. Adjustment brush, K. Graduated filter, M. White balance, W. So for example, let's say I have uh, this image right here of Casey and I want to go over and change the white balance. I don't have to go to the develop and then click the white balance tool. I can just hit W. And it takes me right over there and I already have the white balance tool and I can click that and change the white balance significantly. I don't like that. I'm going to undo it by hitting control Z, but you get the idea. Now I want to go back to the develop module, I mean to the uh, library module, so I can hit the G key and get right back. But what if I want to go somewhere else? So I'm going to go back to the develop module, go to my help, mo uh, I mean sorry, my view tool. Notice that now in the library you can go back to either the grid, loop, survey, or compare tools. So let's say I wanted to go back and compare uh, perhaps these two images on the bottom of the uh, this uh, film strip here. Well, all I have to do is hit N. And it takes me back to the library module in compare mode. And so it's very, very easy. And if I want to get back to the grid, 
G and I'm right back there. So you can see how quickly you can start moving around between the develop and library modules and start doing things that are very specific. Well, let's talk about sorting images. What are some of my favorite keyboard shortcuts there? Well, uh, one of the things I normally do is I will, uh, when I first get a batch of images, I'll open one up in full screen like this. And I really want to see everything. I want to have a, a really nice big view. So I want to turn off this toolbar here. How do I do that? Well, I push T, the toolbar goes away. And I also want to get rid of all of the external distractions. So I'll make my uh, Lightroom full screen by hitting F. That turns off the menu. And then I want to turn off all the tabs. So I can hit uh, the tab key and that will kick out the side panels. If I hit that again, it brings in the side panels. If I hit shift and the tab key, it kicks out everything. And that's the view I want to be in. I want to see these images really big and beautiful. And then what I'll do is I'll just start going through these one at a time. And if I see one that I like, then what I'll do is I'll hit the P key for pick. If I make a mistake on that, I'll hit the U key. And so I'll just keep going through these really quickly. I'm hitting the right arrow button, as you can see. And every time I see an image that I like, that I think I want to use as an image, I'll hit the P key. And then once I'm done there, I can hit the G key, go back to the grid, kick in my panels with shift tab. And you can see how we can really quickly go through different things. Now, one of the things we want to do actually after we have everything picked is we want to figure out of those things that we've picked, which ones are best. Well, we got to figure out a way to sort those images. So at the very top, when you're in the grid view in the library module, you can click on attribute and then say, I only want to see those images that I flagged. And so now we have a subset, a much smaller set of images that we can work with. From there, we have some really nice uh, ways to sort through images. I'll hit T one more time to get my uh, toolbar down here. And you'll see in the lower left, we have the grid view. We have the loop view. And then we have these two things here, compare and survey tool. What are those? Well, let's talk about the survey tool first. So if I click the first image in this series, so these images here all look like they were shot in a very similar set. So I'll hit shift in the last image. So I've selected all of these images. I have eight images selected. I want to see just those eight images and I want to be able to kick out the ones that I don't like. So what I can do is hit the N key that turns on the survey mode. And again, I want to see everything unobstructed. So I'll hit shift and tab and then I'll hit T to get rid of that. You can get the idea of how fast you can do this stuff. Now what I want to do is I don't want to unpick anything. I just want to look through here and uh, remove the ones that aren't as good as the others. So right now I can see this is a soft image. I don't like that. I'm going to hit this little X that's on the bottom of this picture. Now this X isn't going to unmark it. It's not going to delete it from the library. All it's going to do is remove it from this survey view. That's it. It's just going to take it off the table for a second. So I'm going to hit that gets rid of that. This one isn't as strong. So I'm going to start looking through these. These two images here, I don't like this, uh, the full face look. I want something that's looking to the side. So I'm going to kick these two out. And so now we're looking, this one's soft. I don't like that. That one's got to go. This is too much full face forward. When I start looking at these two, I really like this image here. So I'm going to kick that out. And there's my winner. Very, very quickly, I can get to the image that I like best. Now, once I have that, how can I tell that this is the one that I like the most. Well, I could go up and hit photo, and then I can go here. I've already set a flag, so it's already flagged. I could uh, set a rating, but I've already done that previously. I've already set it to five stars. So maybe I need to do something else. Well, I could set a color label and maybe set this as red for red means good. Well, I could either click that here or much faster. All I have to do is hit the six button, and that's gonna set that to a red label. And you can see that when we go to the photo menu and we say set color label, here's all the shortcut keys for the different colors. And so by hitting uh, six, it turns it to red. And so when I go back to the G, you can see that here are all the images that I picked. They're still there. So by kicking them out on the survey mode, all it did was remove them from the view. But there on uh, this one, I have a red frame showing me that that's the winner. Now I could set the uh, rating. So with that one set, I can hit one and it'll set it to one stars, two, three, four, or five stars. So you can use that as well. So it's very, very quick and easy. But what if it's not that cut and dried? What if you don't know which one is the best? Well, you can use a different tool. And if I hit T to bring up the toolbar, you can see down here, we have this thing called the compare view. Now the shortcut key for that is C. So let's turn on compare view. 
So I'll do that. I'm going to uh, just leave this toolbar. I'm sorry, I'm going to leave the toolbar on for this one because it's got a, a couple of things that I think are really nice. Now what this is doing, on the left-hand side, it's saying, this is the one that I've selected. This is the one that I think is the best image on the left-hand side. This guy right here, this one is the one I think that's best. And I'm asking, is the one on the right better than the one on the left? And if it is, I'm going to take the one on the right and I'm going to make it the best image. So right now, I don't think the one on the right is better than the one on the left. So I'm going to hit the right arrow key. That brings up the next image. I think that one is better. And so what I'm going to do is go down here to the right lower left, I mean the lower right hand corner. And you'll see I've got this little thing right here that says make select. I'll click on that. Now that image is my select. And I can say, is this one better? And let's pretend it's not. So no, no, I'm hitting the right arrow. That's not as good. That's not as good. That's not as good. Oh, actually, I think that one's better. Let's make that one the best one. How about this one? How about this one? How about this one? Oh, I like that one better. And so you do that and eventually, Logically, what's going to happen is you're going to figure out which one is the best, and this one is it. I want to make that one have a little red circle around it, so I'm going to hit 6. So that one just has a label set to red. Hit G, go back, and notice there are my two picks. They have the red label. I could have done a 5-star rating or something else differently, but that's what works for me. So you can see how you can quickly learn the keyboard shortcuts, switch between the library and develop module, start sorting images using the survey and compare tools, and then you can turn this little thing off right here, this toolbar, by hitting the T bar, um, the T key, so you get maximum space, and it's really, really nice. Well, let me show you one more trick, and then we'll be done. Let's say that you have an image, and you want to start working with it. So we'll take this image right here. I'm going to go into the Develop module, and I have this image, and I'm going to start working and doing some different things to this image. So what I'll do here is I'm going to reset this. So we have it just like it came out of the camera, which is sort of drab and nasty. And I want to start playing to see if the images, the things that I've done to this image are better or worse. So I'm going to kick out the left side panel, just having the right side panel here. Well, the first thing we need to do is warm this up a bit. So we're going to warm it up, give it some of that uh, um, glowing goldish color. We're going to take this, we're going to increase the contrast. We're going to bring the blacks in. We're going to do some things here to see if we can get this to look a little bit better. There we go. Now we're going to bring up the vibrance a little bit. You can see what we're doing here. Just we're playing really, really fast. So shadows will open those up a little bit, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So we're uh, we're going to bring the clarity up. But what I want to do is look to see if the before image is better than the after image, or vice versa. So what I can do is I can hit the Y key, and now I have a before and after view, and I can look at these things. And if I turn the toolbar on, you can see that on this uh, lower left hand corner I can have this as a left and right which is what I have now or I can have a split and as a split I can actually move this thing around and see that I can do a split either vertically or I can do it horizontally um, or I can do a top bottom full split like this so um, there we go top bottom just like that so I have my before and after view which really helps me uh, look at what I'm doing and if I go in here and start changing things you can see that the before and after uh, stay and they're live so I can see what I'm doing live compared to the previous uh, and that way if I need to undo something if I don't like it I can do that and it works just fine and then you hit the Y key that goes away to go back to the develop module hit the G key and it works just fine. Well, there you have it, some of my favorite keyboard shortcuts for Lightroom. Well, you can see that keyboard shortcuts are a huge time saver in Lightroom. And for more time-saving techniques, make sure you visit the Adorama Learning Center and make sure you subscribe to the Adorama TV YouTube channel so you don't miss a single thing. Well, thanks so much for joining me this week and I'll see you again next time. Well, there is uh, ah, yeah. pretty redundant. Let's probably stop and start again. <laughs> so zip on over there and spend until your credit card is fully maxed out and you're in debt. <laughs> or just, I'm just rambling now. Well, thanks for joining me. Don't first forget <laughs> Want to get the most out of your Adorama photography equipment? Visit our learning center where you can read popular articles, how-to tips, buying guides, and product reviews.